And so I finally met Huracan, the spirit that had set this whole adventure into motion, and tried to stop him. You, a little boy against a terrible demon? Did you think he would listen? I don't know. I think I was just following a blind hope. But I soon found out I was very naive. We set a course for Skull Island, not knowing what we would do when we got there, while Blade organized his immense fleet of black sails ahead of us. It was then that Huracan appeared to us as a large whirlpool, he wanted me to join him for what would be a very difficult meeting. I tried to ask for peace before I was thrown out of his world. Discouraged, I failed to appeal to him. Those storm clouds ahead of us look like a bad sign. If I were you, I'd give the order to point them out south and avoid them while we still can. Skull Island is right there, and if we change course, then we've lost our chance at stopping him. If we hit a storm while we're approaching the island, then we risk getting ourselves dashed against the rocks. Those dark clouds have appeared there as a sign that something magical is happening. We have no reason to turn the ship around. We should drop anchor in the bay we arrived the first time. There's more shelter there. Trim the sails now! The wind is getting too heavy, Long John. Trim the sails! Trim the sails! Ah! <laughs> Prepare to drop anchor! Ah! Anchor's away! Anchor's away! Ah! So many memories, but not all pleasant. That's enough. Let's hear what the captain has to say. This island was the first place where the native people were massacred by the conquistadors. Many others have followed and they've only made Hurricane's anger worse. According to what the Codex says, we have to find the one place that's been consumed by sacrilege. And once we do, we'll have to find a way to cleanse it of all the evil forces stuck inside of it. Well then, we shouldn't waste any time. Let's get going. We should go to Hurricane's Cave, in the place where Flint's treasure was hidden. The natives probably formed their village around that cave. Ah! I just spotted Silver's ship and saw that they had already dropped anchor on the other side of the island. So he's here too. We'll take care of Silver and those nosy kids later. Right now we have to face Huracan. Then they will have to wait. You said you discovered a weapon that we could use? Don't be fooled by its simple appearance. It's not just huh? a statue. It hides an enormous power. With this weapon, we can defeat Huracan. Then let's begin so we can finish this once and for all. Yes, this is the right place. Let's form a circle. Now if we all give our energy to Kanda, she can bridge the gap, and we'll see what happens next. But what if evil spirits come across? Don't worry. While the sky may come from an angry god, I can still feel a thirst for justice in this place. We mustn't be afraid. By now, I've gotten used to all sorts of strange things and sorcery. Now let's get to it. Let's send this demon back where he came from. Hurakan is not a demon. He's just a very angry spirit. We should all try to keep in mind that we are not his enemies. Now everyone close your eyes. Hmm. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. 
Ah! Ah! You do it too, Flint. Just like us. Nasu, asuma ma bema ka, amose angavu bambenye. Nasu, asuma ma bema ka. I knew you'd come. Liar. We surprised you, didn't we? For you, the act of betrayal comes just as easily as the act of drawing a breath. I decided to let you come this far so huh? that I could deliver the final punishment that you deserve. You thought you could control us, but now I'm the one in control. And I'm going to end your <laughs> evil. <laughs> you? You, the one human whose heart is filled with the worst kind of evil that I've ever seen? You truly think you are on the side of the righteous? The side that wins is the side that's right. And I'll win. I'll destroy you and you won't be able to do anything about it. I grow sick of your words, so now it's time that I do something I should have done early on. No! <laughs> Filthy demon. That was way too close. Huh? He'll be back. I know the opposing spirits are powerful, but we can't give up on this yet. Keep your eyes closed and don't give in to fear. I know I'm trying, but I think Flint's the only one who's getting scared. Na azu asuma mabema ka moze angavu abenye. Ah! Help me! Save me! Hurry! That demon could take us by surprise at any moment. We can't let our guard down for even a split second. Hmm? Uh. He won't succeed. Uh. You'll see. Uh. Right here! Uh. Uh. He's trying to attack from all sides. That statue can repel him, but he can always sneak up from us from behind. We will have to be quicker than him. Ah! 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 Is it damaged? No need to be worried. Everything's going as planned. Huh? Uh huh? Statue uses the same magical force huh? as the demon. But how much longer will we be able to keep our defenses up? It's just a matter of time. Try to remain still. The light is about to shine upon us. Now you are free to open your eyes. Huh? 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 Great Uncle Neptune, who are these people? They were Huracan's people. It's their spirits. They've returned to the same island where their lives were taken all those years ago. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Where are they going? We have to follow them. <laughs> Hurry! We don't want to lose them! Great Neptune! I Wait see a them. minute! Follow me! Mm -hmm. Are you 
Are you ready, assassin? I've been ready for a long time to finish you, demon. By all the dark storms of Uncle Neptune, Blade and Shadow are here on the island too. And the thing you see that's ready to fight them is Huracan. <laughs> Your spirit is black and rotten, and now nothing will save you from your own destruction. And your words will do you no good. Now fight me. Our destinies await us. Come on, one more attack. You can do it. It huh? is as it should be. Now we can't defend ourselves! There's no need. Every blow that Demon gave the statue was a blow that he made against himself. The Koba is destroyed. Huracan is destroyed. Mm. Now he's gone forever. <sighs> they just won! Come here, quickly! Mama says we have to keep following the spirits. You go ahead. I'll keep an eye on these scoundrels. So he's gone? Yes! The terrible curse is over! I can feel my heart. It's beating anew. I'm alive! And once again, I'm Captain Joshua Flint! Oh. You see it for yourself, Shadow. Joshua Flint is back from the grave! Uh. But you didn't expect it. You're surprised, aren't you? You knew that this would bring me back to life. But you were thinking I wouldn't survive with a bullet in my heart, leaving you free to run away. Then you could go and take my place as the commander of the Black Fleet and become master of the New World. What a great victory it would have been for you. But there was something that happened that you didn't quite know about. Earlier, as a sign of trust, Huracan had removed the bullet that Silver had lodged within my heart. He wasn't a bad fellow after all. Not so fast, Shadow. This time you've lost. You've found someone who's just as bad as you. <laughs> Keep running! Soon I will be the master of the world and I will find you! I will cover every last inch of the earth until I do! Now, to return this bullet to the man who gave it to me. Now it's time for my revenge. Mm. So that's where you are, Huracan. So, we have a chance to meet again. Hope you're well, young medicine man. Mm -hmm. But what's wrong with him? He's dying. But isn't he an immortal spirit? Everything meets its end in this world, even a mighty spirit. Huracan is passing away, because he wants to. He's wanting to be reunited with his people. In that vision when you showed me the moment Shadow took away your Koba, that's when I realized everything. You knew that he was going to use it to destroy you. You chose to focus on getting rid of the bandits, but you let Shadow get away because you needed him. That man was merely a tool to help fulfill my destiny and to achieve what I wanted. But what about those people you hurt? Were they just tools? That wasn't the way. Perhaps. But your people have suffered the same horrible fate as mine. So you tell me which is the better way, to let ourselves be destroyed or seek vengeance. Yes, it's true that our people have suffered greatly, but we don't seek vengeance. But I do, just so I can look upon my people with the same honor when I see them again, because I didn't really defend them. I... I could not save them. <sighs> The race that attacked my people will be destroyed. Their disgrace will be washed away and I will reunite with them. Do you think your people really wanted to use vengeance and hatred? Violence can't be stopped with more violence. Ask them for yourself. They come to welcome me. Jim! Not now. Huh? <sighs> Don't mistake them, Huracan. Your people are here to give their thanks to the young medicine man. He's here to heal all the good in the world you've been destroying. These spirits didn't come because of your thirst for vengeance, but because of the love that we carry in our hearts. When I was here alone and stranded, the only thing I could feel was a deep despair. But now I have hope. Uh... 
If you follow the road to hatred, the only thing you're going to find is a life filled with solitude. A road that's lost in darkness. Uh. Look at your people in the eye. Does it look like they want vengeance? I only see people who are begging for peace. Mm -hmm. But then this was all for nothing? I have to accept that my people have disappeared from the world? Everyone passes in this world. My people, yours, and everyone after us. And so on until the end of time. I was wrong and I have lost everything. My soul is condemned. No. When we first met, I didn't feel your hatred. I just felt your pain. Follow your pain and I promise that you will find your way back to your people <sighs> at peace. <sighs> 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 Khan has left this world in peace with his people, and the spirits of those poor men who were transformed into zombies have also been released. They will all rest in the sea. Ha <laughs> ha! Whether they were pirates like us or sailors in the service of kings, may they all rest in peace, brothers of the ocean. For our brothers, I mean. Now we have to save ourselves, get back to the ship and sail away! John is right. This entire island has now become polluted and cursed. It's dying along with Huracan and sinking into the ocean. We must escape immediately. Great Neptune, go! Don't waste any more time! But aren't you coming with us? Silver! Are you ready to settle our score? That's huh? what I was trying to tell you earlier. Huracan may be gone, but Flint is still here. And he hasn't given up one little bit on getting back at Hear me. Hear me, evil man. You should know that not only has Huracan disappeared, but the Black Fleet as well. Then I don't need the Black Fleet. I'm alive again, and the bullet that was once lodged in my heart is now loaded in the barrel of my gun. And that is all that matters to me. I know him well. He won't give up. Now get off this island before it blows apart and takes you with her. No, Long John, we... Captain Hawkins, I formally announced that I'm committing a mutiny, and that means I don't have to listen to your orders anymore. Ben, take this group and get them to the ship. By force, if necessary. That's an order from the first mate. Ah, oh, in danger! Ah! On guard, Captain Flint. It's just you and me. If this crew started this mission together, we'll end it together. We won't abandon you, Long John. I made a promise to Dr. Livesey that I would protect you. After all the sacrifices people have made, I'm not gonna lose you too. We should go, Jim. Long John is making this choice for himself. Jojo, trust me, it's time to go. No, come on, don't be stubborn. This is what Long John wants. Get to the ship, quickly! There's no time to lose! Hurry! Retreat! Now I'm ready whenever you are, Captain Flint. I hope you're prepared to take your shot. <laughs> or I'll have to replace the uh. bullet you took out. Be careful. That gun has one bullet you don't want to waste. If your shot is off, you can kiss your sweet revenge goodbye, along with the life you just got Remember back. the crafty scoundrel. But this time, Silver, you're mine! Uh. Uh. Go on, I dare you to shoot me. Silver, you coward. You're going to hide behind children, huh? What are you uh, still doing here? Get back to the you ship! You're in my sights. Now don't you move. Uh, 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 uh. Is this what you want? Come and get it! Uh, I'm warning you, boy. I'll finish you. Keep running, Jojo! Quick, throw me the gun! Stop right there or I'll shoot you, Joshua Flint! That's it, Silver. Fight like a coward. I'm not, Captain Flint. I'm just using my head, the way I always have. Now draw your sword. Huh? Uh, 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 
It's getting haughty, Captain. Don't worry, it won't be your problem much longer. There's nothing we can do. It'd be impossible to interrupt those two while they're dueling. Run away! Everything is burning! You will not escape me, Silver. <laughs> the fool must have dropped my gun. The tables have turned. The rest of you go back to the ship and unfurl the sails. Then you can send a lifeboat back to pick me up. I'm staying here with Silver. Jojo, you can bring the lifeboat here to the beach and pick us both up. Well, you all heard him. To the ship! It seems fate has brought us back to where it all started. Let's get this over with once and for all. Yes, let's finish this. A little warning, Captain. When I was able to get a hold of your gun, I plugged the barrel with molten gold. If you shoot, it'll explode in your face. Is this another one of your tricks, Silver? No tricks, Flint. I just want your attention. I've shot you before, but I did it because you betrayed your crew. And you know that the code of the sea can be very unforgiving. Huh? Ah, this island is sinking with all the evil that it bears. Let your thirst for revenge sink with it, so you can set a new course. Long John has made a good point, Captain Flint. You finally have your life back. Don't throw it away on this useless quest. Just start over. Never! It's over, Long John. Let's go! You did a very good job, my young medicine man. The painful wound has been healed and the world is now back on track. Yes, life will still go on. And now I'm in charge of this lovely ship, the Isis. I know Dad would be very proud of you. I want to find a good port in the Caribbean. And I think I want to start a shipping company called Simon G. Stanton. Mm. For our dad. <laughs> That's a great idea. I love you, Tracy. With you two girls running the show, I'm sure that we're going to see many more ships and every single one of them is gonna be just as good as the Acepha. If we had a family around, I'm sure it would be so much better. What do you say, Mama Kanda? And what about you, Jojo? And also my best friend, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> a family where there is love, and we have plenty of that. And we'd want the two of you to stay with us. Thank you, you guys. But my mother is waiting, and I have to follow the same path as Dr. Livesey. My mission isn't quite over yet. Um, Jim? I understand why you're going back to England, but I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that I'm going to have to end our engagement. It's huh? just that I can't keep waiting for you, and, well, I, I'm i still too young to get married right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that breaks my heart. I guess I'll just have to be strong and try to go on without you, but I certainly won't forget a great woman like you, Lynn Stanton. <laughs> and you, Long John, what are your plans? Hunting for treasure, since I don't even have a shilling in my pocket. What do you want me to do, boy? I can't just settle down and give up an entire lifetime of being a pirate. It's Quiet. the only thing I can Quiet. do. <sighs> Welcome aboard, First Mate Flint. So I'm going yeah. to leave you the same way that I found you. That feels right, Long John. Even if you were the richest man on Earth, you would still try to come back to fly the Jolly Roger. <laughs> you know me too well, Jim Hawkins. And what a pity. You would have made a great pirate. Captain Jim! Flint, my old friend. What joy it gives me to see you again. And now that you're here with me, we can give our ah. long-awaited final farewell. Goodbye, Long John, my best friend. I will never forget you, as long as I live. Goodbye, Jim. May the winds forever fill your sails. The Pirates.